Well, hey friends, I have a grocery haul for you today and I also have a bulk food store haul. Um, so I'm gonna show you that as well. If you hear some racket and some heavy panting, that is my dog, she's driving me crazy. <laughs> so we got a two and a half dozen pack of eggs and uh, two salsas. So this has no added sugar, love this stuff. It was on sale, I try and stock up when it's on sale because when it's not on sale, it's pretty pricey. I mean, it's just a store brand. President's Choice is a store brand here uh, in Canada, but it can be a little bit more pricey. Um, and anyways, I really like it because it doesn't have added sugar. I got some baking cocoa, two Heinz ketchups, and these are no sugar added as well. Some French's Dijon mustard, some water enhancers, so I got uh, pink lemonade and two tangerine grapefruits. They only have three flavors of this in my at my at my grocery store, but I happen to see that they do have other flavors at other grocery stores, but they don't carry them around here. So I hope that one day we get more. I'm obsessed with these two flavors, so. So I got two packs of this chicken. Um, this was on sale. Normally it's around $20 to $22. It was on sale for around $15, $16. So I got two packs. I think it's like, it's between $22 and $25 is what I think this chicken is actually. So anyways, that's why I got two packs. Um, so, so I saved a bit. <laughs> um, and then I did get my kiddos craft dinner. They love craft dinner and I'm not super duper crazy about it. However, um, it's the summer and mama doesn't want to cook every night. And sometimes there's just those nights where you need a really quick dinner um, where maybe you aren't very hungry, but your kids are. Anyways, that's when this craft dinner is going to fit the bill for me. So this was kind of our little stock up for summer with the craft dinner. And then, okay, sorry about that. My camera cut off. Um, I'm not sure where it cut off, but um, we got these blue corn tortilla chips. This is actually a substitution. I did um, an online order grocery pickup. I put in my order this morning. I was able to pick it up this afternoon. Anyways, I had um, wanted the store brand of these. I'm not really crazy about this K-Pasa brand, but um, it's for the kiddos and they don't really care all that much. So um, anyways, and grapes, they were on sale this week for $1.98 a pound. We got some corn. I got six ears of corn some olives this will go in a salad as well baby carrots some yellow onions avocado two limes and a lemon i also got a red onion cauliflower and these radishes which are seriously like the most gorgeous radishes i've ever seen i just oh they're so beautiful i also got uh, some green onions some mushrooms and then this kale slaw mix. So I've got kale in my fridge right now and I'm gonna chop it up and put it in a salad. Um, but it also called for some other like red cabbage and I just didn't want a whole red cabbage. It is just gonna be mainly me eating this salad and the idea of that, eating a whole red cabbage or letting some of it go to waste, no. So anyways, this slaw mix was on sale for $2. So I um, got this to kind of go along with that. And make that kale stretch. Um, I got cilantro, hoping to do some guacamole, some um, cheddar smokies, some sour cream, large flake oats for oatmeal, um, and then I got some turkey deli meat, some salami, and two packages of light cream cheese. So this is the first part of the grocery haul. I think you hear my little doggy. Where'd she go? Elsa! Yes, her name is Elsa. Hello. Hello. Ugh, I don't like to be licked. Okay. So I wanted to share with you two little tips um, for storing your groceries in your fridge until you can actually deal with them. The first is the chicken. So I put the chicken right back in the bag that it came from. Even when it was sitting on the counter, I actually had the bag underneath just so that no chicken juices are getting on my counter. I put the chicken back into the bag and then I have this um, old, it's a pampered chef, little just aluminum 
baking pan. I think it's like a 9 by 13. It's like a bar pan. Um, I wasn't happy with how well the Pampered Chef pan held up. Like, as you can see, it looks like a lot of the metal is flaking off. I don't really know if that's actually the case, but it, I just didn't want to bake in it any longer. So anyways, I use this tray to hold meat in my fridge and so that if anything leaks, it always goes just right into this tray. You can do the same thing with um, a glass baking dish or um, a discarded or an old um, cookie tray, just something like that. Um, and then I always put my meat in this, catches the juice, it's good to go. So next tip. So this is my cilantro. Um, I have just put it in a mason jar and I have water in here and it's like a little bouquet. Whoa, hello. Um, it keeps your herbs fresher longer. So always either stick them in a glass a mason jar or a cup or something like that with water or wrap them in a wet paper towel and that will help them stay fresh a bit longer. So this is the stuff that I bought um, with my grocery haul. So I needed hand soap. I make my hand soap a lot of times, um, but I was actually running out of my Castile soap. So I decided to just give myself a little break and actually buy some. But I wanted a natural brand. Um, and I looked this up, Nature Clean, on the Think Dirty app, and it was rated extremely well. Um, here's a little look at the back. So the ingredients are water, potassium, potassium oleate, glycerin, sodium chloride, and some essential oil. It's gluten-free. There's no animal ingredients. It's actually um, PETA certified. It's cruelty-free, vegan, and biodegradable. And I got it in the citrus scent. And then I got some Method All-Purpose Cleaner. So I use a lot of um, my On Guard Cleaner from doTERRA, but again, I just sometimes I just like to mix it up. Method is rated really well on the Think Dirty app, and this scent is, um, what is it? It was, oh, it's not saying. Sea salt and lime, I think it was. Oh yeah, lime and sea salt. And I just think that's going to smell so good. I have been using um, Scentsy in my bathroom, and the scent I've been using is sea salt and avocado, and it smells so good, just really fresh and clean. So I was just suckered in by that whole sea salt lime thing. Okay, so lastly, I have my bulk store order. Oh my goodness, guys, the bulk store is like my favorite thing. Um, I got this popcorn. I thought this would be a fun treat for the kids. The only thing in here is popcorn, canola oil, um, butter flavor, salt. So I could stand behind those ingredients because that is exactly like, except for the butter flavor salt, it would be actually butter um, that I would put on at home. I figured this is nice and easy and it was a buck 99. So back here, this is a big thing of Epsom salts. And then they had lots of different soaps. They have um, natural cleaners and soaps and different things like that. They even have soap berries, which is like so cool. Um, but anyways, this is a bee pollen soap. So I thought I would get that as a little treat to myself. Then I got uh, a bunch of spices that I'm out of. I'm gonna do some bulk spice blends like taco seasoning and ranch um, mix. So I needed a few spices. So I got parsley. And what one was this? Um, oregano. I think this is thyme. And some dill. And chili powder. Dried minced onion. And what one was this? Oregano, I believe. Did I say oregano? Yeah, I think this one's oregano. And poppy seeds. So then I picked up some mini chocolate chips. And truth be told, these actually were not a better deal than just buying them at the grocery store or something like that. But, you know, you live and learn, I guess. Um, and that's kind of the thing about bulk food shopping. Some of the things are really great um, deals, like especially the spices, Epsom salt. Um, other things, maybe not so much if you can get them on sale. These came out to $4.69. So, yeah, not that great of a deal um, when I can get a bag of chocolate chips for $2.99 er, $1 on sale. But, you know, you'll live and learn, I guess. Um, and then we got uh, pretzels for the kiddos. And this is unsweetened shredded coconut and some graham crackers. Again, these were not uh, a better deal. These were $2.44. And I think I could probably get these on a much better sale for like a whole pack. 
but I just, uh, you know, whatever. You live and learn, I guess. Um, and then this is whole wheat pastry flour. And then this is some um, almond meal. Um, they have blanched almond meal, which is just completely white, and then just ground almond meal. It's the same thing. One is blanched, one isn't. So I just went with this option because it actually is cheaper. My kids love these peanuts. Love, love, love them. So we got some of these. And then um, coconut flour. And then some raisins. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.